Hey guys, Pro here at VIP Outdoors, and today we are going to go over how to tie a soft spinner with a double treble hook. I use anywhere from 30 to 50 pound test line. In the spring right now, I use 30. I got a plastic detachable clevis, one of our 3.5 blades. You could use one of our threes, our fours, four and a halfs. A number four clear bead that's going to take the place uh, as my bearing bead. And then a number five and six red bead tubing. And I got two number two Gami extra wide gap hooks here. So let's go over how I tie that in specific with the hooks being so tight together. Okay guys, so this starts with your number two treble hooks. Uh, you could use a couple of number size ones, two times strong. Uh, you could use number twos. You guys all like your own hooks and that's totally cool, man. But these have been working pretty well for me. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm simply going to take my leader, go through the eye of the treble hook, come down. And at that time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to thread my second treble hook on. So I go through that eye, let it hang, and then I'm going to come back through the eye. And I'm simply going to, at that point, I'm going to take the leader end, I'm going to pull it tight to where it snugs this treble hook up right into the crook, the eye, right in the crook of the hook above it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie my nush knot. You don't know how to tie a nush knot? Uh, we got another video out there on how to do that, which all I'm going to do, I'm going to take my tag end that I bought, brought back through the eye. I'm going to fold it down. And now I am going to simply tie an egg loop. I'll tell you, man. Double treble hooks are a pain in the butt to tie, and you're going to poke yourself like 500 times, and fish are still going to miss it. And you're going to go, how in the heck can I poke myself 700 times, and a fish gets to bite it and get away with it? But that's just the nature of it, right? So I tie my egg loop. Pull that tag in nice and tight. Make sure that loop comes around all of the hooks. It's kind of tight because I got my fingers in there. Tough to see, but that's okay. You guys get the idea. Just like that. All right, so we got our egg loop. We got a loop hanging. That tag end has to come down, guys, or else this bottom loop will slip. So we got that hanging nice and tight. Then I'm going to take tubing, slide that down. You could use any color tubing you want. Um, matter of personal preference and uh, creativity. Slide that down. Good thing about our tubing, just a smidge bigger for this, and so it slides down over that not pretty good. Now that. And then when I stack my beads on here, I have a tendency to stagger, not stagger, excuse me, taper from six, which is my larger, and then I go a five millimeter red, and then I go a number four clear, which acts as my bearing bead. And then the detachable clevis. Once I have that, I'm able to clip on one of our VIP blades. Let me grab one here. What do we got here? Let's go with I've Gone Mad. Actually getting some stuff set up to fish this week. So we got I've Gone Mad that we're going to clip on there. And there you have a double treble hook soft spinner. Anyways, guys, the challenge for me with this is I like this back hook fix. That's why I like the niche knot. You guys have seen some of my other videos where the, the hook kind of stays strap, strapped out or kind of tight. This one sags, but as you're going through the water, it definitely does straighten out. Uh, it is effective. I have used it. I like it. And I'm going to rig this up and see how we do this week. But anyways, guys, that's how we tie a soft spinner here at VIP Outdoors with double treble hooks. Hope it helps. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. Thanks for watching.